What's up, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Elders Bell, here, back with another edition of Let It Rip Sports Show. And before I get into my topic today, or my preview of the uh, Denver Broncos versus the Raiders, I want to give a huge, huge shout-out to uh, Knight of the Shield for giving me some huge credit on his channel. Love the support. Love your stuff. Um, I would definitely like to do something with you that we can get together. That'd be great. Uh, love the way you have your channel set up. Um, all love, brother. All love. I love it. And I want to say thank you to my two new subscribers, uh, Sick With It and uh, Writer Ben. They love my analysis. Uh, they love. They gave me some love as well. And uh, the, Night of the, the Night of the Shield gave me some love with my analysis too. So definitely I'll keep it up for you guys. And without further ado, let's get into that preview. Because this is a huge game. It's a divisional game. The Broncos are kind of surging. They're getting all this uh, Super Bowl contender talk. And, well, we kind of... We let a, we let an opportunity go last week against the uh, Chicago Bears, winless at that time. We could have won that game, but you know what? No, no need to overreact because let's let's recall last year. We would have loved to be uh, two and two last year, but we weren't. So let's not push the panic button. Um, it's a huge game though. If we could, if we could get this game, whoo, that'll be a huge confidence booster and that'll be a huge uh, win for, in terms of the division and and ho hopefully winning the division title now <clears throat> let's start with the offense and what they have to do because that defense i mean I, I don't like the broncos but that defense is stupid legit i mean it's 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 elite it's elite their linebackers their their dbs their d line it's 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 pretty nice pretty nice so how do we attack them if i'm bill musgraves you have to to run the ball. You have to be super committed. I'm talking Latavius Murray has to get a minimum of maybe 20 to 25 rushes. Maybe in the uh the, uh, the later uh, 20 uh later 20s of rushes because you can't you can't run routes. You can't have those long developing routes against that defense. Uh, the the uh, the pass rushers Von Miller, DeMarcus Ware, they're having a fantastic season so far and you just don't have time to uh to 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 have those routes those long developing routes and to get the ball there I, that that's this is that that's playing into the strong suit of this Denver Broncos team. What you have to do is pound the middle. You can't rush to the edges because those those two uh, players that I just mentioned they are very good at setting the edge. So I wouldn't challenge them too much, but they have been susceptible up the gut. And if you look at Adrian Peterson, he was able to do damage up the gut. And I think you have to do that. You you you, 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 you got to be you you have to be relentless in the in the approach of that because you can't even if we get down by a touchdown or two touchdowns, don't don't shy away from the game plan. You rush, 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 run the ball. I know Latavius Murray had a bad game, but I'm not gonna cast him aside because he had one bad game. Every running back has a bad game. Every NFL player has a bad game. So. I'm pretty sure he'll he'll bounce back mainly because the reason why he said he had those two fumbles is because he he took his eyes off the ball too quickly and that's something that can be fixed. But if he if he if he has an issue with just like technique, then we have another issue. But if you taking your eyes off, that can be fixed with the, just more concentration. So give Latarius Murray the ball. Give Roy Hulu, who had who I thought he had a good game against the Chicago Bears. Get them in action. Let them run the ball. And in terms of the passing, because you don't you don't want to leave Derek Carr out of the mix, you gotta you gotta have a quick dink and dunk. You gotta dink and dunk them. Uh, and thankfully, Amari Cooper is adept at at, yeah, at running routes, especially short routes, slants, um, quick hitches, uh, screen, bubble screens. You gotta that's how I think you gotta attack them. I know their linebackers are extremely fast, but you gotta dink and dunk them. Don't go for the the long the long post or. <clears throat> Or the the huge the, the huge comebacks you can't go for those don't do those that that's that's a recipe for disaster and we get Derek Carr killed just like his brother we can't do that we can't do that because our line it's been solid but I don't know about that about against this defense so you want to protect your line you want to protect your quarterback you want to run the ball a lot and you want to have those quick passes dink and dunk them now as far as the defense oh, whew, we we. Okay, the, our defense, we, we, we got some issues with our defense. We really do. Um, namely, the, namely the tight end. Um, it's been three weeks or four weeks. Every tight end has had a career day. And I swear to God, if Owen Daniels has a career day, 
I am getting on a plane to Oakland, and I'm getting the headset, and I'm saying, watch out, Kenny. I'm calling the plays. Not really, though. But maybe. Anyway, first off, um, we got to contain the run. And, and I know the Broncos have, they've struggled with uh, running the ball effectively. But this is not the, this is not the time to let them get, get off and get that running game secure. I mean, get that running game in motion. We want to make them one-dimensional. And also, the, the huge, there's a the huge onus on the defensive line for this game because the, uh, the offensive line for the Denver Broncos has been much maligned throughout the year. But we have to take advantage of it because the way you stop Peyton, just like you stop Tom Brady, you have to hit him and you have to give him pressure because if he gets hit enough or gets pressured enough, he, start missing, he starts getting happy feet and he starts missing throws. That is how you attack Tom Brady and that is how you attack Peyton Manning. And also, uh, we have to tackle. Uh, Demarius Thomas is known for breaking tackles. He, he'll take a short, he'll take a short pass and go 50 yards. We cannot allow that to happen. We have to tackle hard. And then two, Emmanuel Sanders. He seems to be like the the, the speedy deep threat this year. We got to have a safety over here. I'm watching him. And uh, I know Curtis Lofton sucks in coverage. That was a knock on him coming out of New Orleans, where he's a tackling machine. And he's great against the run. Great against the run. But when it comes to coverage. Whew, I believe I believe I read a stat from a pro fo- pro football focus where he actually uh every pass has been that he has and been every pass that he has that he's been in coverage has been completed. So that's 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 hopefully got to change this week uh, against Owen Daniels and the um, other tight ends that he'll be facing this this uh, game. Um, like I said, uh, DJ DJ Hayden. He's got to have a great game against the Beast, Demarius, Demarius Thomas. Um, I don't know if, if uh, T.J. Carey is going to be uh, a go for this game because I know he said he's just banged up, so hopefully uh, he can play for this game. But uh, Charles Wilson's got to be on, on, on point. Uh, emerson has got to be on point. This has got to be a, a full game, top to bottom. We can't have turnovers. We can't, we can't have these uh, silly mistakes because how you beat a great team is be on your P's and Q's and execution. That's how you beat them. So that's my analysis for um, for our offense, somewhat negating their elite defense and our defense uh, stopping uh, Peyton Manning. So give me give me a comments and suggestions of what do you think we how we how you think we should attack the uh, Denver Broncos and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Letter of Sports Show. Hopefully we knock down the donkeys. Let's go Raider Nation. I'm out.